Man, listen. I want you to come up here, PK, because, man, many times you just come there and spin, man. Tell the people about yourself, man, PK. The man behind the voice. This DJ PK1490. Once again, if you ever tune in, internet, WGGFradio.com, internet radio. DJ PK. Come on, man. I know I had you here a couple times, and, you know, I ain't let you speak, so I can't let you go out like that. Now, PK came out here, I think it was a couple weeks ago with his crew, and, man, he really blessed us. Boy, they was fire. Y'all was out here when they was out here, man? They was fire. So, PK, man, tell the people about yourself, man, because you be spinning the tracks, and you don't say, I want, I want to give you an opportunity to talk to the people. Praise God. Praise God. Are y'all enjoying yourself tonight? Yeah. Good, good, good. Once again, um, I'm here. So PK smooth, but he took the mic, walked to the front, praise, but you're smooth, brother. <laughs> those who don't know me, my name is DJ Preacher Kid from WNBM 1490. I have a one hour show from 5 to 6 where I'm, I play urban gospel music, Christian rap. Uh, I definitely am a big DJ who support local artists here in the South Florida. So if I don't have your material, please tonight, let's network, let's fellowship, let's continue to spread the gospel in a radical but righteous way. I'm also the vice president of Kenfolk Music Group record label. Uh, it's a label that has four artists by the name of Ammo. DJ PK, myself, D. Mary, and King David. And we're putting out gospel music and we're taking it to the streets. A lot of our ministries that we do are not just in the church, but the majority of all our ministries are outside the building. Uh, it's time that we're living in the last days and we have to encourage the people that Christ is soon to come. I know a lot of people say it as a cliche, and sometimes people laugh at the ones that they see them on the street holding up a sign saying Jesus is coming soon and you laugh and you drive by. But it's so real. The end of the Bible, in the Bible, it talks about the revelation. And as you can see, if your eyes are open, we are seeing the signs and they are showing. And we cannot close our mouths. Believers, let's be bold on our jobs. Young people, let's be bold in our schools. Let's be bold 24-7 about Jesus Christ. Heaven is real and hell is real too. So we have to, at this time, let's stop judging but continue to walk the light and allow people to see Christ live in us. Let's stop pointing the finger because some people don't, may not go to church. Some people still to this day haven't been inside the church building. So the only light they may see is the one that they see when you come to work. The only light they may see is the only light when you go to school. So it's so important that we live the word of God. And as a leader of Kenfo Music Group, that's my whole goal is to continue to build men up in the word of God, leading by example, being obedient to God's words. God be the glory. Right. Yes, yes, yes. This is my man, DJ PK, man. I, and, I, and I just had to let you come out and talk to the people. You've been out here a couple of times, and I forgot to let him bless the mic, and he was just so humble. I ain't say nothing. Just let the Lord deal with me, and he did his thing. But um, listen, man, somebody may be listening. You know, as a matter of fact, I want all the brothers who ministered, anybody who did their thing tonight, just come on up here quickly, please. If you, if you, if you came on the stage and you did something, just come on up here, uh, please. Uh, just, just come on up here if you did something. We, we, we do this for a reason that we want people to come into the reality of, of Jesus Christ, man. And somebody may be listening who didn't come over, and they like, man, I hear you talking about Jesus, but tell me how I, I get this Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because the one thing I realize is that, you know, I lay hold of the promises that God has for me. You know what I'm saying? And people say, hey, man, tomorrow ain't promised. But the Bible told me in Psalm 90, I got 70 years. I'm laying hold of that promise. And the reason why I say it is because I had a family member say, hey, what's that scripture that say God give you a certain amount of years? I say, well, to the believer and those in Christ, I say, you have no covenant. So that don't apply to you. So somebody may think, hey, I got the mind. They don't know Jesus, and they could step into eternity without knowing Jesus. And the thing that blows me away is the fact that those people who lost would be like, man, I had a chance. And, you know, as long as I wrong you and I got life, I got a chance to correct it. But if I leave here without accepting Christ as my Savior, done deal. So tell me, how can someone get this unspeakable joy? They done heard all us talk about Jesus. How can someone get Christ in their life and make him as their Lord and Savior? Let the people know how they do that. The first thing you must do, we want to encourage you. God looks for a person, a woman, a man who is open and broken. You must confess your sins. You must acknowledge that you need him. That you need the Savior. You must confess. 
confess with your mouth, and then the next thing is believe in your heart. So right now, what we want you to do, wherever you're at, if you're in your homes, if you can hear my voice, at this time, what I want you to do is close your eyes and think. Just think at this time. Take a breath. That breath that you're breathing right now is God. It's the Lord's breath. He's given it to you. Now I want you to understand that he's given this to you in spite of the fact that you have may never acknowledged him before. This is his unmerited love. His agape love. This falls under his grace and his mercy. It's not just for those who are righteous, but it's for everyone. The Bible says his mercy is new every morning. So I want you to think about someone who loves you in spite of all that you've done. And if you know, if you know that you have no way of getting into the kingdom on your own, the Bible says God has sent his son, Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the light. And the reason why it says that is because we're living in a dark world. And in this dark world, you need light to see. And Jesus is that light. So we encourage you. I beseech you, my brother, my sister, if you can hear me, acknowledge Jesus Christ at this time. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let's pray. Dear Lord God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for this time right now, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for that young man or that young woman that is sitting there right now, Lord God. Ask the Lord right now to forgive you. Ask him right now to cleanse you of all your unrighteousness. Say, Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and make me a new creature. I believe that you died and you rose from the grave. Heavenly Father, right now, it's of sin and death. Devil, I command you to loose your hold over my life and over my family. I have confessed Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. And from this day forth, I will continue to live right. From this day forth, I will continue to obey God's word. Jesus, I thank you for setting me free. Jesus, I thank you for setting me free. Jesus, I thank you for setting me free. Now, sons of God, if you believe that right now, make a joyful noise to our Lord of Lords and our King of Kings. For he is setting free this community right now. Yeah, my man DJ PK, preacher kid. You know he had to preach in him, know what I'm saying? And I want to thank all the brothers and sisters that blessed the stage. And we're going to keep them all. Hey, we got to keep them all in prayer, man. We got to. Because it's real out here. When they get up here and talk about and profess Christ, they take certain hits, you know what I'm saying? But they know they walk in authority, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep them lifted up. And you just want to keep all y'all lifted up, man, because, you know, faith comes by hearing. And long as we sat here, sit here, all of us done acquire some kind of faith, but got some kind of faith. So we just want to challenge you today, man. Hey, we want to thank you. We want to appreciate you. And uh, we're going to keep it moving with Meet Me on the Block. Give him a hand, man. in hostility, correctional facility, thugs, university, raising evil, evil hell. Tell the dude in the cell, thinking it was my only way to prevail. The bond, the tub, a son of a king. When I started believing in the king, he let my feet ring. Free of my mind, my spirit inclined. I ain't trying to see a new, I know more crime. You see, God is good, I told a lie. I did so much wrong, it still got by. In my life, my wife the most beautiful swing. Like King Murray said, the most beautiful thing. So I'll be on the ties and all for his. Rachel, when the store, I'll scope and I'm go.